Okay. As you see, I cleaned all the chalk off. I've cut the flames out. And if you look on this side, from over here, what? They look just like the other side. Come over here. It looks just like the other side. If you look at this point right here, okay, just for a good reference point, come over here. Almost, almost identically in the same spot. Now, that's how you make a pattern, and that's how flames are done, okay? That's the easiest, most simple way to do them. Practice with them. Practice with your tape, not with a pencil. You don't want to draw on there because you'll see pencil marks when you're all done painting them. Make sure all your chalk's cleaned off. And now, Minnie is going to show us the simple way at home. Before she does, though, we, we take them off two different ways, okay? The way that we like to take them off, this is called frisket paper. Now. This is an old roll and it's no good, and the supplier that we used was out of it, and I need to get these flames done. What we usually do though, and if you can find this, it makes a nice, easy, simple, quick job, 10 times faster than taking them off the way many is gonna show you. Is you would actually take this whole roll, unpeel it, and cover it, and watch right here, okay? You can see the tape underneath the paper, okay? And all you do is come back with a nice exacto knife, stay on top of the blue line, and then peel everything out of the inside of the flame, and it's taped off. But since Mets Mini saw a profession there, and I know she really loves doing that, I'm gonna let her explain how to tape off flames. <laughs> That's low tech tape, by the way. Get yourself a two inch, baby, and erase what you want to erase. Those are on there with your blue tape. You've got to use your low tack tape. That's a vinyl type tape or automotive tape, right? Yeah, okay. automotive tape. You don't, don't want use... to use house tape because it'll put all your paint on. So, what off. you're saying is you want to buy your tape at an automotive, automotive. parts supply store. Do not use right. Home Depot, Lowe's house yeah. tape. Even if it says it's low tack, don't use it because it will pull the paint off. Okay. Been automotive. There and done that. 3M brand's the best. Yes. <clears throat> and most you popular. need thin tape. Okay, and that's half thin. that. So we got one inch here. No, that's three quarter, three quarter inch there inch. and one and a half inch tape. Yeah. Okay, inch what are we? Quarter. That's an inch and a half. Okay, what are we gonna do? And your exacto knife. And a razor blade for. Yeah. And that's a brand new blade I just put in there. The tip is broke off of because you dropped it off. Okay, the well we'll get a brand new blade, so we'll use a razor blade for right now. That's why you get. So how do you do this? First thing I do is outline. Outline the Out, outside of yeah. it. Yeah, you want to start, and you want to. You don't want to butt your tape up. You want to go about halfway on your blue. So you want to overlap your blue tape. Overlap it just a little bit. Now this tape will stretch and curve and bend, but you don't want to get uh, wrinkles, wrinkles in and it. holes. So what Minnie's doing is she's outlining all the outer edges of the flame. Now when she gets to a corner section, like you watch her do right here, she's gonna overlap the tape, then she's gonna take her knife, her knife or a razor blade, and she's gonna lightly cut the tape without going through the blue tape, am I right? Make sure that you cut the tape precisely without pushing through the blue tape because you will bleed through with your paint if you cut the blue tape. Am I right, Minnie? Yes. You would be amazed at where that paint will go. So. And you don't want to bring it up close. You I see am. these little places where it's not stuck down? Air bubbles. You've got to make sure there's All those. no air bubbles. It must be stuck completely. On the edges, it must be stuck tight. Or the paint up in there. And you'll be screwed. Well, it will look like crap. Okay, so then once, once, then, once all the tape is outlined on all the outside, then you start filling in all your holes. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and fill all the inside pockets in. And basically, it's the same as what you just did. Am I right? Yeah, but on the inside. 
but it's an inside curve instead of an outside curve. So you fill all that in, then you come back and cut the corners out. And before you do that, I don't know if Minnie realizes it, okay, she actually, once she tapes that off, she's gonna come back and cut that door jam with a razor blade, all the tape off, because inside that door jam, she's gotta tape it off wherever the paint goes. Yeah, so it'll be the right colors. So it'll be the right colors, and when you open your door, it won't be all feathered because out. This is gonna be the flame color, red, orange, whatever it's gonna be, and then you don't want that still to be blue inside there. So we'll have to open up the doors once we cut this. Tape all that tape off. Inside the door, so you, you gotta be real careful. See, I missed a little spot right there, and that would show up big time. Once you get the paint on there. Yeah, and that's hard to get off even though you got your clear on there. Yeah, it's very difficult. It's better to just take your time and do it right so you don't have to come back and worry about it later. Yeah, you gotta be really careful. So once you go all the way around that area, then you're gonna fill it in with your inch and a half tape. Right. Am I right? So you don't waste so much tape. You just okay, I'll tell you what. Why don't we come back, we'll check it out and see what, how far you got. See how far you got and uh, See how long it actually takes you to do this, because you ain't done it in what a couple years now. It's been a long time. Yeah. It's do you think you can finish time. it out? I mean. Oh yeah, it'll get done if you leave me lo a long, long enough to so get it. So let me ask you a question. Even though it's been two years, about two years, two and a half years since we, since you uh, helped me put flames on, do you think you'll be able to still remember how to do it right, where I won't get mad? I'm sure I will. Okay, let's try to do it right this time. Okay. Uh, All right. We'll see you. See you later. And that's basically how you're going to install your own flames at your house by yourself without paying Mr. Joe Bob $7,000 flame job man to do it for you. We'll come back and check on them in a few hours. Hopefully it won't be tomorrow.